Hey guys, it's Christina Blackfeather, and I just thought I'd show the latest project that I'm working on. Um, forgive this desk, it doesn't come clean anymore, but this is my craft room, and um, there's uh, well, stuff, glue, and leftover things on the table. Um, I thought I would talk about a uh, product I just started working with, and I'm rather enjoying it. And I'll show you what I'm doing with it and um, just do a little paint demonstration. But uh, anyway, I have a commission to do uh, olive oil bottles for a wedding. And you can see some of it, it's very much not completed. Um, and even the ones that have the green on them yet are going to be getting an extra coat of green leaves on here. Um, this is Deco Arts Gloss Enamels Multi-Surface Acrylic Paint. Um, for top rack dishwasher safe finish on glass and ceramics, clean surface with alcohol, apply one to two coats, allow to cure four days, Place in a cool oven, set temperature to 325, and bake for 30 minutes. So, now this has left a very nice finish as it is. Um, and can be left like this. If, if I have to, I would glaze over top because I have a glaze that handles up to 350 degrees. But, um, I am going to give one of these bottles a shot when I get them done uh, just to test in the oven and see how well they do. Make sure that these olive oil bottles don't explode. Um, the person that's doing these uh, uses uh, the spouts. He's actually going to get smaller spouts. Um, and instead of olive oil, uh, what they do in their house is they have dishwashing liquid in here because um, it just looks prettier on the counter than uh, having, uh, you know, a big dishwashing bottle. And so he wanted something that was similar, and the bottle that they have in their house has got the corn flowers and stuff. Uh, the bride's bottle I have not touched yet. Uh, that one is going to be peonies and ferns. Um, so these are just, you know, quick, quick lavender flowers, essentially, and the Black Eyed Susans or the Corn Flowers. Um, this paint does not blend very well. Um, it, uh, you kind of have to use face painting techniques on it. If you're used to face painting where you just get your colors loaded on the brush and just go. Um, so that's what I've been using for a technique on this. I think these have already been curing about four days. They feel really smooth. I mean, it's just fun. So, um, the metallics I had bought for myself, um, so I only had them pay for part of the paint. I had gotten the set, uh, a three set of this deco art paint for uh, $47, and they paid for most of it because I wanted the glitter set for myself. <laughs> So that one is not open yet. These are just sampler kits too. I'm like, my gosh, how how much paint do you really need if this is a sampler kit? And I'm it's reading backwards. I don't care. Um well that's because uh it um you know it lasts a long time, so I don't understand how they can call it a sampler kit. But anyway. Um, would have been finding works pretty well. Uh, this does clean off with soap and water. Um, but I have water here just in an old bottle. Uh, it says USP uh, sterile water. This actually is for um, suctioning and stuff like that for uh, trachs and stuff. Uh, the tray came from a trach uh, cleaning kit, you know, the inner cannula inside when they put the hole in the neck and they have the tube there. Um, oftentimes they'll have a cannula inside of that that you take out and clean. And so these trays never had been used. They just were extras in the kits because sometimes we don't use them. So I just collected a bunch of them and I use them for paint trays and, and then they get recycled. So 
And so, uh, yeah, they're pretty nice. So what I'm gonna do, um, for testing techniques, I have huge uh, half gallon mason jar. I've just been playing around with here. And uh, you can see what I've done for the lavender colors. So what I'm gonna do is just demonstrate that with the green, because that's the color I have to work in today. Forgive my hands, they're pretty torn up from the soaps at work and everything. And they're hurting really bad today. So squeezing this paint <coughs> is a challenge. Some days it hurts to squeeze these bottles. I'm gonna go yellows today. I couldn't get a dark green except for the glitter. One has a dark green in it, but since I don't have glitter on the flowers, I didn't want to do glitter on the leaves because that'd be kind of silly. I'm going to do a little blue too because, you know, then you got uh, yellow and blue make green. Uh, yeah, so what I'm using is just a crappy old brush from a watercolor kit. I like in part because I didn't know how well this was going to destroy brushes, so I didn't want to use my good brushes on it. Um, so it's got kind of that teardrop shape to it. That's perfect. So you don't do a full mix. You know, just mix up enough to make your darker green, which I've got here. And there's still little streaks of blue and yellow in it, which is just fine. So let's see, come on brush, come on focus, focus, focus. You can kind of see it. Um, let me put on the big light here. Oh, I forgot it on, well that doesn't help. Uh, anyway, we'll just go through really quick. So you can kind of see, let me get a spot here. I just kind of do this with the brush. And this is kind of your uh, face painting technique and works very well for this. So yeah, you're just quickly, and then I could dot in the center, you know, just do that. I work with certain colors at a time because that way I don't have all the yellows and everything else mixing up in with it. So just do like little streaks in between. Looks kind of cute, you know, and you don't have to be precise with these leaves. I'm not doing realistic flowers. Um, able to do, you know, just swirly lines. This is a thicker brush, so it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, that's basically what's been going on here. So I had done the same technique to do all of these flowers. I mixed purple and white, and then I had taken a more square tipped brush and had just gone and stroked this way on all the petals. Then I took this brush in the dark blue and went over top just to give the petals a little bit of depth. Oscar! I have the door shut. So somebody is upset because the guinea pigs have fresh grass from the yard. Yes, three weeks ago we had a blizzard. Yesterday it was 80 some degrees outside. So. Yeah, so right now Oscar wants the grass the guinea pigs are eating. That's too much blue. All right, and just make little dots. You can see, I'll try to make it that you can see on the camera. So yeah, just little dashes essentially. I'm gonna keep going down And as you can see, it just keeps going like that. I had already done brown, so I made it kind of like branches. There's gonna be ribbons around the spray of lavender. And you don't even have to fill this in. If you wanna totally fill it in, I would suggest doing multiple layers. Let this dry completely in between layers. Well, you don't have to go totally, totally dry, I guess. I was able to do some of these with the 
other layer having only cured for like an hour. But like I said, this paint does not blend. Um, you just kind of have to go with it. And it's, it's like one of those things like wood carving and stuff like that. It's going to tell you what it wants. You kind of just have to go with the flow. I kind of did this the wrong angle. Let me see if I can go this way. I was trying to watch what I'm doing on the camera. <laughs> All right. I have a habit of turning the piece and turning my hand and uh, gets in the way of the camera and I apologize. Yeah, some of the leaves will be a little bit bigger than others, but you know, you get the idea here. So what I did for the corn flowers is I had taken that squared brush and made sure to round it. I had it very loaded with paint and just flicked this way with you know, to make the petals. So we're gonna go in. I'm gonna give it a little bit more of the bright green. And because you're mixing the paint on the palette instead of on the object, because oils you can blend, acrylics you can blend to a certain point, um, you know, you want to uh, get your brush well loaded. So the corn flowers, I'm just going, I'm going to go this way. Just make something up. You can squiggle your brush. And you see it just kind of a squiggly line and the colors blend to a point right on the bottle. Yeah, and sometimes you just kind of make a big mess. <laughs> but it's easy to fix, which is nice because this paint is not dry. And that's the nice thing about working with oils, too. <coughs> Sorry, I was outside. Allergy season. It's a wonderful thing. Makes your nose run. Happens every spring. Oh, that's not a cat hair. I'm going to throw some of these leaves back here too, just to add a little extra. Yeah, so it's, I mean, it's nothing, nothing spectacular, but, you know, just something fun to do. Fun paint to play with. Uh, they still don't recommend that you have this on a surface you're going to be eating from but they do um you know it it is dishwasher safe at that point and what i'm doing here is just lightening up some of these the paint is already starting to dry lavender flowers come in bunches so I like to make it look a little bit more leafy, fill in with another color. And these are just fun. This is just a fun project. I've been having a blast with this. That's really awesome. I don't use these paints on rocks. I use regular acrylics and then I glaze over top. Yeah. Fix that. That kind of went over the edge, so it's just the bottom of the bottle, fortunately. The other thing I was kind of disgusted with is and this person had bought these from um, a 
I forgot if they got them at Kohl's or where they did. But they had this tremendously thick glue for, um, for the, uh, for the sales stickers. And it, I had to get some adhesive remover and try to get it off of there. And it took medical adhesive remover to get it off. I mean, some of the glue was just horrifyingly thick. in here. All right. So yeah, that's that's pretty well filled up there. Let's fix this a little bit cuz this is bugging me. So yeah, you can layer over top to a point if you want to change things up. Put one there. And I'll take brown and do some of the stalks for the cornflowers besides. Let's do one more up here. My neighbor is out sweeping his sidewalk. All right, so yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Um, to do the, uh, what I had done is I had done a mixture of black and brown over this, and then I went brown and red and orange over top of it, and I had taken this brush again, and I had just tamped it down, you know, front down, so it kind of splayed out a bit, and then I just went over top. And there will be little white dots on this yet, so let's go that far. Oh, these paints are so much fun. They're just awesome. Now let's actually get a different brush. I know I have a more pointy brush around here somewhere. Here we go. Since I started face painting, I go through so many brushes, it's unbelievable. And what I had done is taken a photo of the uh, bottles that he started with and um, kind of mimicking it, but not really. Probably could have gone with a finer point than this one, but that's okay. Just to add a little extra depth. So just on the cornflowers themselves. And um, actually, let's take some of the brown. So I'm going to be doing the rest of these bottles. So I only do very little paint at a time. But uh, come on. I'll get to the point I can't open lids anymore with my right hand. Um, I'm starting to hurt a lot fun trying to spike IV bags, I'll tell ya. All right, so let's go with this one right here. I'm just going to run the brown down along the stem. And we'll make a stem for this one. Stems don't even have to be very clear. Uh, if you want it thicker, of course, you're gonna have to go extra layers. I 
like the original stem was right there. So let's do that. All right. Yeah, so that's pretty much that one. And I suppose if we really wanted to, we could go and do a little bit of vine, which is just your, you can curve your lines any way you want. And then I'll probably put white dots among there too, because I just kind of like the white dot thing. I think it's kind of fun. I do that a lot with my drawings, which I will be having another video of my recent drawings that I know some people have seen on Google+. Plus. I'm working on my uh, channel logo. Been kind of hard to work on my channel because I'm working six days a week right now. Have to get the garden in, have to do all sorts of stuff, and I'm just losing my sanity at this point. If anybody would like to donate to car repairs, I need about $1,200 to fix the brakes on my car. And it's going to be a while. It's getting harder with with uh, medical stuff going on and things like that. So there we go. There's the little bit of vines. Let's do one more. You could do green vines. You can do any color you want. The lavender flowers, you could even do this with... Uh, with, uh, I know, different color flowers and stuff too. It doesn't have to be purples. Let's do one more right here. These are just very, very simple shapes. Very easy to do to come up with something that looks cute and effective here. Swapping colors. Um, <laughs> this towel. <laughs> I swiped this from my mom's kitchen when I was like 15. You consider I'm 50 now. This towel has had seen some serious, serious abuse over the years. <laughs> I don't know if my mom realized it was missing. Maybe not. Let's just add a few more dots just to have some extra fun here. I just think the little dots just kind of lighten things up a little bit, make it kind of fun. All my drawings have been having these, whether it's on characters' faces or, you know, mixed in with flowers like this. It's just one of those touches I really like. And yeah, I picked it up from uh, various anime artists and stuff. And it just, I enjoy it. And you know, you do what you enjoy. You don't have to be a fantastic painter. You don't have to be highly skilled, but if it's something that you end up liking the look of it at the end, go for it, you know? Just have some fun with it. And I'll tell you, I've been using very little of these paints, so that $47 lasts. I mean, you can do this on plates, you can do this on the mason jars, you can do this on anything. You know, you just go for it have some fun so yeah there we go actually there we go again I'll show you yeah so if the one bottle blows up it blows up in the oven then I'll just have to do an alternative thing but yeah there you go I hope you guys enjoyed this um, yeah and this is 
still the bracelets that got banned from school, boobies rule, and uh, nice melons, and old Fluttershy rainbow loom bracelet that I made. These are buttons on here. That's a croc, you know, thing for putting in shoes. And then of course my husband's uh, chain mail. And then that's some of the peyote bead work I had done years ago. So yeah, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a fantastic evening and blessed be everybody.